Ready Player One, is it a good movie or is it just a cash grab for Nostalgia Fest? Let's find out. directed by Steven Spielberg and it stars Ty Sheridan and this is a movie about a virtual reality world called the Oasis and in this movie the creator of this VR world has passed away and he created this easter egg and whoever can find this easter egg in the Oasis will be the new owner for the Oasis. Now as you might know this movie is based off a book of the same name written by Ernest Cline and I did not read this book but I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. And also since I didn't read it, I'm probably not the best one to judge it. But I do hear that this book is really dense, so many references and all those kind of stuff. So the fact that Spielberg is able to make it, make this movie into a movie is a great achievement on its own. First of all, let's address it. Yes, there are nostalgia stuff in here. As you see the trailer, there is T-Rex, there is King Kong. There is all those kind of stuff, Iron Giant, but there's also stuff for the newer generations like there are characters from Halo, Overwatch, all those kind of video games. So both adult viewers and younger viewers alike will definitely enjoy this movie. There is so many easter eggs that it will hit any kind of age groups. I can guarantee you adults and kids alike at one point in time in this theater will shriek in their chair. What I really like about what they did with this world, first of all, the world's amazing, but what they did with it, like I said, the, it's, it encapsulates something that's really possible in the upcoming future because everyone's using VR nowadays. So this virtual world where everything past, present, and future all in one, and you're just you're just in there living that world. You don't even have to be yourself. You get to become someone else. And that's something that's very relatable because right now there are people having fake accounts on username but pretending to be someone else, just typing, uh, picking like hate comments on YouTube channels. So there are all those kind of stuff and it's quite realistic depicted in this movie. But yeah, once again, this world is just so dense, full of everything and super realistic. I could see this happening in the upcoming future because VR once again. And Spielberg just did it. The same thing that he did with Jurassic Park, E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jaws, giving that movie magic that every fans of different generations can enjoy this movie. The story is fantastic and it's very concise. And once again, the world is just amazing. It is when you're watching the movie and they're displaying something that's happening in the oasis the vr world you want to be there you want to spend time there all the time and it feels like that you're there you're so immersed there and when it, and because of that whenever it goes back to the real world you're like oh can we go back to the oasis please but that's not i wouldn't say that's a blame for the filmmakers because the filmmakers are supposed to make it that Oasis is something so much cooler that all these characters actually want to be in the Oasis. So in that case, I would give them props because they make Oasis way cooler in the real world, even though our real world's in the future now in that movie. But the way how they make Oasis and the make how they writ write the characters and everything that it makes you believe in them and makes you really want to spend more time in the Oasis because just the world itself is amazing, so many stuff. I'm not saying that everything that happened in the real world is boring. I actually really like a lot of the stuff that happened in the real world, but once again, the Oasis is just so amazing that, yeah, man, you just want to be there. The characters are very interesting. The lead character named Wade Watts, played by Ty Sheridan, you might have know him from the not-so-good X-Men Apocalypse from 2016. I wasn't a fan of him in that movie. In this movie, he did quite a lot better. Uh, he proves to be able to be a very capable lead. The other supporting cast, when I check their IMDb list, this is one of their first major breaks into Hollywood big blockbuster movies and directed by Spielberg too. So yeah, they've, they've been in some TV shows and stuff, but this definitely, they prove that they can they do well and they deserve to be in this movie. Also the villain played by Ben Mendelsohn, who played like this corporate big boss douchebag. He just wants to be in it for the money. It's basically a corporate dick that wants to win this game for all the money. He doesn't care about the game. He couldn't care less. He will do anything for him to win and just for that, for that money. And he really does portray a corporate dick. <laughs> and he did 
a really good job making me believe that he is that character. This movie really did an amazing job in making us feel like that we are with them and when they are escaping to the VR world, we are escaping with them. In a sense, we're escaping our real life by watching this movie. And that is something that's really um, the main theme of this film. There is a message at the end of this movie, which I will say right here. And it's, they're telling how, despite how amazing this VR world is and that you want to be in this world because you can hide yourself and you can be anyone you want and you can do anything you want. Despite how great that is, that is not the reality that you live in. And this is the reality that you live in and you should be embracing that instead. Throughout the whole movie, it feels like a very communal experience. And at the end of that movie, they're embracing it there. Embracing this communal experience. It's a celebration of who you are. Personally, I love watching movies, I play games, I read comics, and that might be in a sense a way of escapism because I'm just trying to ignore what's happening in the real world and that movie just delivers a great message despite how much you want to escape. This is your real world, you should embrace it. Em embrace it. I'm embracing myself as a geek, as someone who loves movie, making film, ma not making film, making film criticism because that is who I am. And this is definitely a showcase of what film can be and how impactful it is. I cannot finish this review without seeing the score by Alan Silvestri. You know him, he, he made the score for Avengers, he made the score for Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies of all time. And he made an amazing score in this one. And there are hints of Back to the Future theme and every time those hints play, it gave me goosebumps. Overall, this is a really spectacular movie. Spielberg did an amazing job in translating a book that I've never read, but I can tell this is a very dense book. He delivered it and made this world an amazing world. Not just the future of futuristic Earth, but the futuristic VR, the setting, the, all those kind of stuff. I can tell whoever write this, not just the writer of the book, but I believe it's Zach Penn who's a screenwriter. They really did well done researching everything, all those easter eggs that they put in there. There's so many easter eggs which is insane. And not just that, it's, it's not just nostalgia and looking forward to the future. It has a real message which is something spectacular. You should embrace yourself despite how much you want to escape from this world, how much internet has provided you a platform to be tweeting or posting Instagram. You just have to realize that this is our real world and we should be embracing it as a communal, it's a celebration of who we are. So with that, I would give Ready Player One an 8.6. Guys, have you seen this movie? Have you not? Tell me in the comment section below. While you're at it, tell me uh, what are some stuff that you're looking forward to if you haven't seen it in Ready Player One. Tell me what you're hoping for, what nostalgia or what character you're looking forward for. Also, why not? Tell me your favorite Spielberg movies in the comment section below. Mine is definitely Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade. And now this is definitely in the top one too just because of the message alone and just how amazing this movie is to see. So yeah guys, tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see this channel grow, all you have to do is click the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more I make movie reviews, trailer reaction, all those kind of stuff, movie related content. So go check it out, click the subscribe button below. Also, if you want to contact me on all social media platforms, I'm at jawiradharma on Twitter and Instagram. You could contact me over there, follow me, why not? So yeah guys, until next time, ciao out.